So I, I actually have two questions I'd like to squeeze in. Uh, Go ahead. They're kind of related. So, so recently, my mother passed away, well, in January. And, um, you know, I'm an ex-member of the Nation of Islam, still love them. They really changed my life and, and opened me up to, uh, to realize that knowledge is my birthright and wherever I wind up, Mm -hmm. uh, is the right place because I'm, I'm following right knowledge and looking for right knowledge. I'm, I'm a seeker of knowledge. So, and they did that to me. So I'm all forever grateful. Although, I, I, so, so part of my question, but you know, in the nation of Islam, there isn't a lot of spirituality. It's a very logical, um, uh, uh, um, system. And my mother's recently passed. And since she's passed, I'm just more open to the idea that, this realm is not just the the, 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 the end of it, right? Yeah. So since she, there was a lot of weird things that happened, the night she passed away, I, as I was getting a call from the hospital, I had a dream that she was, I was talking to her on the side of her bed, and I was crying, and she was asking me, what am I crying for? Everything's all right. Next thing you know, the phone rings at the hospital saying she passed. Right. That was really weird. And then now I'm getting, I'm seeing 9-11, 9-11, 9-11. And as I Googled that, I'm finding that, that, that those numbers represent you know, um, a whole bunch of things change, mm -hmm. uh, angel numbers, um, the, it, the, everything that I'm going through in my life right now, when I Google that, it outlines specifically, dot for dot, the, the time for change to look for spiritual things and to, you know, just so many of those things. So, yes, um, brother, let me, let me address, yeah, I, I, I feel you, I hear you. Um, the first point is about the nation, we are family first and foremost right yes. and if yes. you do study the history and what the nation stood for with the honorable elijah muhammad he pretty much told everyone who was going to come and for the real people to move over and follow this person he talks about the book of the lamb and so forth and the person that came along is dr malachi z york he actually explained all the lessons more than anybody has done in the past, broke them down, and there are videos on YouTube. So the real followers of any walk of life, whether it's Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Nation of Islam, have to come over and move over to Wu Sabat and us to become a family. So yes, he always gave reverence and praises to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad for what he built. Um, and his message, he said, was right and exact. And that message was to do for self and to come together and work for each and, um, you know, basically for ourselves. So that message is what he's saying is right and exact. Now, ancestry, as you said, you're, you're able, your mother was able to visit you and you can still communicate with her. And we have rituals and things that, you know, we teach that teach people how to do this because they're just, as I've explained, she's just crossed over. She, we don't die because energy cannot be destroyed. We just translate, transmutate, move on to a different realm and continue to have a new form of existence. And we master that realm and then we continue to move on. So she mastered the physical, she's moved on to the next one. She's there, she can communicate with you, she works, she can walk with you. You have to learn how to be in tune with her and for you to be able to manifest her and communicate with her as, as you need, just as if she was here. And that could be what, through what people call dreams, but your dreams are really you traveling and going to those realms and coming back because you are not ready to cross over or pass over. So I know that um, you're, 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 you, know, you have a lot, you want to unpack the angel numbers. Again, that's what people call angel numbers, but it's really dealing with messages and synchronicity um, yes. from, from different frequencies, you know? Um, so yes, uh, I'm one of those people, I get those all the time, it, to a point where, you know, I, I know what you th you're saying. And when it, you it have to... Happen, it's happening so much that it stopped me and made me Google it. I, I just, why is this constant? Because I never thought to do that before. But for some reason, it was happening so often. And, and I, like I said, I'm in a situation now where so God, many things cool. in my life are changing. And, and uh, I, it, it almost... Listen, like brother, I, uh, again, because of time constraints, contact us, link up with us. You know all our okay, contacts, and so one we can carry question. on with the conversation. Yeah. One last question: If you, I'll, I'll release the line. If you could, could you just talk on Master Fard Muhammad, who he is, what he represents, where he, where, where, what position he holds 
in in the uh, eyesight of Musabak, and I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Brother. Okay, again, the master teacher has published many books addressing that whole situation, because the the point of the Nation of Islam teach they didn't actually realize that there was a conspiracy, right? So when you start to go back to the origins, um, th these people, as Master Farad Muhammad you're mentioning, were Arabs that came in and they were trying to teach a form of Islam and then they basically supplanted themselves and to be worshipped. This is why when, when the master teacher was addressing you know, the nation and saying that like, there were certain imposters that were placed and it, it, it's, quite, it's quite deep because you know, it involves um, FBI, CIA and all these type of things. But um, ultimately it was like they were, like to this day, you know, when you look at the picture that they have, of him, he, he looks like, well, he, he's half Caucasian and it didn't actually add up when we're saying that you're the original black man and when you start to look at the lessons and tying it into what they call the Asiatic black man, we know that we're not Asians, we're not from Asia, that's dealing with the East Indian. So really, we're, we're the original black man, not black in the state of colour. But we have so much information on this that we can address this and go into more details. But we have a book called Zig Zag Zig. Um, and um, there's so many books that address this whole thing. But at the end of the day, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is honourable because he cleaned up, you know, the black men and took them away from, you know, the white Christianity. And, you know, discipline was implemented. There were thriving community. And the minute he left, you know, the, the Arabs stepped in and, you know, took it to a different direction. And now we have to come back together as one um, because they were actually Minister, Minister Louis Farrakhan and the master teacher were, were starting to work together. And um, again, you know, the powers that be tried to sever that connection. But a lot of the elders and many people that were following the Honourable Elijah Muhammad are in are in, um, in in our in our culture now, and a lot of them have come over, and many more will. And um, like we say, religion is going to fade, and if they don't move away from that, they're going to fade along with it. So the real people are going to gather together in one place, which is Wusabat, whether people like it or not. 